Charlton take on Wimbledon on Monday on the back of a run that's seen them take just one point from the last 10 league games. They'll be without defender Richard Rufus and are desperate for points. If you'd have said to me we'd have had this sort of run, I'd have said, well, yeah, OK, but would have been out of it dead and buried and playing very poorly and really getting hammered. But that's not what happened. You know, we're losing by the odd goal. We've, we've played Man United, uh, Arsenal and Aston Villa throughout the last four home games and we lost them all 1-0. And, uh, you know, very difficult and, and very disappointing. Hopefully we can turn it around. Wimbledon will be looking to bounce back from their FA Cup exit at the hands of Spurs in midweek. Kenny Cunningham and Ben Thatcher are likely to return after missing Tuesday's defeat. But international duo Efan Okoku and Michael Hughes are both out. Tony Campbell, Sky Sports. Wimbledon fans can celebrate a victory in the Premiership. Last night's win over Wimbledon ends a barren spell that's lasted almost four months, lifts them up one place and revives hopes of avoiding relegation. Geraint Hughes reports. It all looked so good for Charlton back in August. Indeed, after thumping Southampton 5-0, the Addicts were briefly top of the league. Things, though, haven't gone quite to plan. Who would have thought that October the 24th, a win over West Ham, would herald the start of a dire run of results? 13 matches without a win, including eight morale-sapping defeats. They needed a great escape. Escape is exactly what Charlton hoped to achieve to avoid relegation and they started their journey with their first win in nearly four months last night over Wimbledon. Swedish striker Martin Pringle got the ball rolling with this fortunate goal. If you thought that was lucky, well what about this? Surely candidate for most bizarre goal of the season. Hope springs eternal, indeed there is now light at the end of the tunnel. The three points push them up the table and they're now just four points from the safety zone. The victory provides confidence and with fanatical support from their faithful fans, Saturday's visit of Liverpool looks far from daunting anymore. Get I choose.